Hey sweeties, and welcome to the premiere episode of Food Star. And I'm Emily. So, what is Food Star? Food Star is a how to, know how to, and make it up as we go along cooking show. Every episode, we bring you a star, and that star brings us their very own recipe that we make step by step just for you. And not only will we be sharing these tasty tidbits with you guys, but we'll also be teaching you our very own recipes, recipes for life. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows that the holidays are right around the corner. I love, love, love the holidays. Not only do I have some family fun time with my little sis over here, but also because of all of the delicious holiday food, like the turkey and the cranberries and the gravy and the stuffing. Ugh, I'm getting stuffed just thinking about it. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Gobble, gobble. No, I'm a turkey. Anyways. My favorite part about the holidays are the leftovers. I eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. Yeah, she's like snacks. She's not kidding. I'm not. Hopefully, we have enough leftovers for our recipe with our special guest today. Oh, don't worry. I told her to B-Y-O-T. Let's bring your own turkey. Tofurkey's fine, too. I'm so excited to introduce our very first food star guest. I'm probably one of her biggest fans, and hopefully after today's episode, a new BFF. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen, Soph, because I'm the one that's been texting her all week, so. And I was the one who showed you about all of her shows. You know what? <clears throat> I guess that we will just have to wait and see who makes it. Uh-huh, a little, uh... Friendly friend competition, I see. I would love to introduce our very first guest, a very talented actress. She is the star of ABC Family's Make It or Break It, and she's also been in movies like Seventeen Again. What's that, Efron? The very talented actress, <laughs> Josie Loren. <laughs> oh my god, you look totally cute. Thank I love, you. love, love that top. I think I have the same one, actually. You oh, have great taste. Really, I've never seen it. It's really similar. Let's just leave it at that. Well, that's awkward. All right, back to the show. So, what is the recipe you brought us? I'm going to make leftover turkey sandwiches. Love sandwiches, but isn't that kind of just like an everyday meal? Points for doubting me. <laughs> but it's not just any kind of sandwich. It is a special sandwich that takes all of the holiday food and sticks it in between two pieces of bread. That sounds totally amazing. Plus, I have a special little spin just for sweet. When you are cooking in a kitchen, you should definitely have a parent or an adult around just to make sure you stay safe. Yeah, that's why we have our executive food star chef, Carrie, to help in the kitchen. Sophie and I totally love acronyms because they're quick, easy ways to remember things. So we made up a special one for you guys. H-K-E. Heat, knives, electricity. It's like our own little safety checklist. If your recipes include any of those three items, make sure you have a parent or adult to help you out. Let's bring out our executive chef, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Hi, ladies. How are we? Good. That Great. That looks awesome. So excited. So we have all the fixings for our Thanksgiving sandwich. Some multi-grain bread, mashed potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, mayonnaise, and of course, our turkey. This is all we need, guys. I love the mayonnaise because a sandwich without mayonnaise is like a girl without a BFF. <laughs> Thank you. Have fun. Bye. All right. Let's get started. I'm ready to eat. First things first, the mayo, BFF. And for the sweet part of the sandwich, we get some cranberry sauce, put it on the other side. You know what side. else is sweet? Best friends. I, I think so too. And then some mashed potatoes. And then stuffing. Last piece is the turkey. Just lay it on, close it, and voila! Leftover turkey sandwich. The best sandwich you'll ever have. You are on ABC Family's hit show, Make It or Break It, which is about gymnasts. Do you want to tell That's us about right. your character? Uh, I play a 16-year-old gymnast, and she is working towards the Olympics. Were you a gymnast previously, or did you have to learn everything? I was a gymnast when I was younger, um, and then a competitive cheerleader, and I still know the basics of that, but mostly we have stunt doubles, and they are amazing. Do you guys know Bella Caroli? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, totally. The gymnastics so coach. Awesome. Exactly, yeah. He was guest starring on our show. He coached all of these incredible athletes, and they won the year that he was their head coach. And so when he guest starred, that was like huge. So what do you like to do besides acting? Every girl likes shopping with her friends. Oh my gosh. I love movies. And I've actually gotten really into cooking. Do you have any like celebrity crushes or celebrities that you like look up to? I don't know who doesn't like Chase Crawford. Uh. <laughs> Shockingly enough, 
He's actually cuter in person. No. It's not fair, and I don't understand how that <laughs> happens. As we all know, you were in 17 again. What was it like working with Zac Efron? Honestly, like, I can't sing his praises anymore. Like, he's so nice, and he's very good looking. <laughs> Sounds like someone I'd want as a BFF. So would I. I would, I, I would fight to be his BFF, too, yeah. You are in a TV show, and you've also filmed a bunch of movies, so how do they compare? Oh, I've been on Make It or Break It now three years, and I know my character so well. While on a movie, you're only there for a couple months, it's a new character, so it's like, it's, I, at least for me, it's more challenging. So not only is your character on the show a gymnast, but she also sings? I prefer it to be a shower only voice, <laughs> but um, the producers found out, and my executive producer told me the year before, she's like, oh, we're gonna write it in. I'm like, please don't do it. Don't do that to me. What kind of music do you like to listen to? I love country music. Favorites? Rascal Flatts, definitely. Carrie Underwood is amazing. <laughs> and the new Scotty McCreary, he's great too. Oh, yeah, he's so cute. Yeah. Oh, Scotty. Our sandwiches look so good, huh, Josie? Yes, I can't wait to eat them. Which one do you think looks better? <laughs> you know, mine looks mine. kind of a lot like hers. So. Actually, no, because mine looks more like hers. We got the mashed potatoes and the You know, Josie, I loved all of your answers to our interview questions. I would love to like hang out with you and go. Yeah, I don't like, know. Like, you should totally hang out because and I love gymnastics too and I love no, cheerleading. No, like, I've also, like, we can take a trip to Miami brother go to all the charity stuff. Or, like, I could we could just hang out and, like, walk around town. And, oh my god, it'd be so fun and we could help the children. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Flattering. But there's plenty of pumpkin pie to go around. By pie, you mean? I mean that there's plenty of love for all of my friends. Of course, she already has a bunch of BFFs. But I can always have two more. Really? Of course, a girl can have as many BFFs as she wants. And you guys are so equally fabulous, I could never choose between you two. Oh my gosh. Do you know what that sounds like? Yeah. A brand new. Didn't even see it coming. Totally unplanned. Recipe, recipe for, for life. Having a lot of friends is great, and they can all be your BFFs. Everyone has something special and amazing to share. You can appreciate all your friends' different qualities and have fun with each and every one of them. You're better together than you are apart. Long story short, the more BFFs, the merrier. And that's our recipe for life. Thanks for that very first recipe for life. It's a good one. Yep, it's one of the ones I live by. And as I promised, I do have the surprise I didn't forget. And it is a heart sandwich cutter. Aww, adorable. That beats for the both of you. Uh -huh. Just the same? Yes, just the same. <laughs> and I'm going to make a heart-shaped sandwich. Yeah. All right, and as promised, my heart-shaped BFF sandwich for my two new BFFs. Aw, hi. Yes. BFF, BFF hi. <laughs> it's game time. So we have a special Thanksgiving-themed game here today with assistance of Ted the Turkey. You have to answer as many questions as you can about Thanksgiving in 60 seconds. Josie, are you ready? Getting my head in the game. All right, let's put time on the clock. And in three, two, two one. What weekday is Thanksgiving celebrated on? Thursday. What sound does a turkey make? Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, Ooh, gobble. Something down. What was the name of the ship the pilgrims sailed on? The Mayflower. What's the main dish at Thanksgiving? Turkey. Who started the Thanksgiving tradition? The pilgrims. True or false? Thanksgiving is only celebrated in the United States. True, true, yes, true. What is the day after Thanksgiving where you go shopping called? Black Friday. Josie, you were so close, but Thanksgiving is actually celebrated in Canada, but on a different day. Now we are gonna turn things to the hot seat. Pound it. Turkey. <laughs> All right guys, welcome to the hot seat. On every episode of Food Star, we ask our celebrity guests the same seven questions. You ready, Josie? Bring it on. <laughs> what is the first thing you notice about a person? Their openness and their energy and if they're friendly and if they're welcoming. If you could go on a road trip with any celebrity, who would you go with and where would you go? Mr. Ryan Gosling. Oh. Uh -huh. And I would take my road trip to the set of The Notebook. <laughs> if you could have any wish, what would it be? I wouldn't mind being in Mr. Uh, Eastwood's next blockbuster feature film and, you know, getting an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> no big. Who was the last person you talked to on the phone or texted? My mom. The last person I texted was actually my stunt double, so oh. there you go. <laughs> what was the last tweet you made? I tweeted sweet hi. Aww. 
Aww. is a picture of us on set. I love it. Yes. What is the best piece of advice you have ever gotten? I think the best thing was uh, stay true to yourself. If you were stranded on a desert island and you could only take two items with you, what two items would you bring? I've always wanted a pet monkey, so I can't have one here, so I'm guessing I can have one on my deserted island, so sunscreen <laughs> and a monkey. And last, but certainly not least, if you could live in any decade, which would it be? The 60s. Cool. You've survived? Thank you so much for coming on to Foodstar. We really loved having you here. This March, make sure you check out Josie on ABC Family's Make It or Break It Season 3. Also, remember to check out more episodes of Foodstar on SweetieHigh.com. That's Sweetie with a Y.